Hi, welcome back to 30 day gratitude system. Today is day eight. How are you doing? How is your gratitude tasks and gratitude practice going? The central gratitude theme I would like to introduce today is judgments. Do you like when people judge you? I'm sure you don't. Nobody likes to be judged. But do you judge others? Let's see. There are situations where we say that, oh, this person is from this particular place or from this particular organization. Oh, he is going to be chill. Or I don't think she is the right person to be in our project or in our group. People judge others, mostly unconsciously. Judgment impacts people severely. And judgment impacts both the person who gets judged as well as the people who judge them. Although I can come up with a long list of impacts of judgments, I would like to say just three of those in this video. Number one is judgment adversely affects the people who get judged. According to studies on people with mental health problems, Seven out of 10 people with mental health problems have said that they have been discriminated against by their friends. And as you know, discrimination is a result of judgments. And we tease friends, we tease people based on our judgments. And you see how big is the impact of that. And another example that I want to quote about the adverse effects on people who get judged is in the job front. Our brain has the ability to judge whether a person is trustworthy or not based on their photograph. So if you are sending a CV to an organization for a job, if the person who goes through your CV, looks at your photo and think that, oh, this person is not trustworthy. And this is a subconscious thinking, but this definitely affects the candidate. Many worthy candidates are losing opportunities because someone is judging them based on their photograph. How unfair, isn't it? Secondly, judgments cloud the mind of the person who judge others. Think about this. If you say that you do not want to go to a particular place based on a judgment, you're not going to visit that place. You're not going to take up the opportunity in an organization because you are judging it based on what you heard about that organization. Maybe you are missing out an opportunity. So judgments can hold you back from taking risk. Number three, judgment affects your self-image. When you judge others based on who they are, what they do, where they work, what's their ethnicity, what's their nationality, and so on, you're also creating a lot of limiting beliefs inside you. And in due course, this limiting behavior, beliefs also affect the way you look at yourself. And when you look at yourself with limiting beliefs, you will always feel that you are less than what you really are. And that will impede your progress. That will hinder what you can truly achieve in your life. So judgment affects the person who judges others as well as the people who get judged. So what can you do to not judge others? Here is my tip for that. Be mindful. Be mindful about your thinking. You get an opportunity and when you think that, oh, I don't want to work for that organization. I don't want to work with that person. Just hold on and ask yourself, why I don't want to do this? Is there a solid reason behind that? 
or is it based on pure judgment? That pause and thought can help you go a long way. It can help you to break out of your limiting beliefs. It can help you to take challenges in your life and that might pave way to pro future progress. So be mindful and always give the benefit of doubt to others. So the gratitude task for today, the first part of that, the gratitude component, is for you to think about a person and a situation where someone didn't judge you for who you are and that helped you in some way. Did you feel happy that that person didn't judge you? Did you feel a boost of confidence when that person didn't judge you in that situation? How can you express your gratitude towards that person and for that situation? If you do not feel comfortable expressing it to that person, at least say it aloud. Make a card and keep it for yourself. And as I have mentioned before, it always helps you if you can take that step because if you take challenges and come out of your comfort zone, you are going to excel as a person. You are going to improve your self-leadership as well as your growth mindset. The second part of our gratitude task as always is the action component. Many people ask me, why is the action component tough? By design, I have made it a bit difficult to help you come out of your comfort zone, to help you take challenges. And as I mentioned before, taking challenges is part of developing yourself, developing your leadership, and it will help you to find the person who you truly are. So the action component for today is think about situations where you judge others. We judge everyone. We judge our family members. We judge the people who work with us. Today, you just think and see how many times you judge as well as try to be mindful in every situation so that you can train your brain, you can develop your neuroplasticity to be non-judgmental. And that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow with another gratitude theme and another gratitude task. Till then, stay safe, be happy. Bye-bye.